So you guys what's what is your host machine or so like always I'm back with a new music video once again guys. So in this video I'm just going to show you how to make a, a CSS image editor guys. So in that so in the, this for instance I'm using this single image and by the slider as you can see I can change uh, uh, and do the editing stuff as I want. So yeah so let's get started with this video guys. So I will not write the whole code I will just explain you what actually I'm going on. So let's begin with this video guys. So first of all I am creating as usual the index then I will create a style.css then I will create a function.js. So in the index I will just create the basic layout of my website itself. So I am just de uh, declaring the HTML and the doc uh, this declares that I am using the HTML5 okay. Now I am giving the title and here is the viewport means whenever for to make the website responsive okay and now i am linking uh, my website to the style.css and then then it will not work and similarly i am uh, and here uh, i am referring my uh, uh, website to the function.js also so let's begin so as you can see i have just inserted the image that is from here uploaded at here and once here i'm just uh, then i'm uh, creating a class uh, slider so that basically i can create this part okay now we have only inserted this now only the image now i'm declaring this part guys now what you need to do so as you can see as you can see i've given the brightness by default value and the slider name similarly i've given the contrast 100 and same i have done for the rest and as you can see here the zero pixel these are the initial uh, value so as you can see 100 wait a minute let me refresh as you can see 100 100 and for instance the grayscale will start from as you can see zero then invert will start from yeah similarly everything will be start from here okay so zero 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 and the values are coming up okay no need to worry okay yeah so these are the thing and then i'm creating a button that is reset as you can see okay then now let's go ahead to style and now let's make it a similar way of how it was looking so i'm giving you this uh, background ff that is a normal uh, white background and yeah the color and the container is absolute uh, absolute and i'm giving the vh uh, means with the width it will automatically move okay and then i'm creating uh, then i'm uh, styling the reset button okay guys so as you can see now what in this i'm giving it a background color and i'm giving it a font i'm giving it a font size also and okay then yeah so uh the focus command what it really does is uh, for instance um, if you uh, if there is a text box uh, when you click on that text box as you can see this uh, the, uh, the top bar here is uh, what it is little gray now when you click here it becomes white so this is nothing but a text focus guys okay yeah so next we are doing the same with the image we are making it as a absolute height auto and similarly we are doing the same for the float uh, the left uh, the positioning of the other slider etc okay now here is we are using the type range now what the range is it is uh, uh, it is by default uh, uh, in meaning is the the slider as you could see here it is nothing but range so we are defining the whole for everyone okay so this is done now we are doing the same for the button focus as i said now let's go ahead with the function.js where the main brain works so we are giving the default value 100 100 we are initializing the everything okay now now let me just give it the same for the now here as you could see the update filters now here we are creating the reset means whenever someone clicks on reset it will automatically reset to the uh, value okay now here is the brightness slider similarly i've created the contrast uh, contra slider and saturation slider i've created the rest similarly um yeah so now whenever i use the add event listener guys there are two things uh, there are two arguments one is this and the next one it will just select whenever this get fires up okay so i've done the same and uh, with the, the rest and that's it so that's it for today video guys i hope this small video is really helpful and if yes don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, i have also given the source code in the description just go ahead and download if you have any doubt just let me know below thanks guys have a nice day